Hi guys, in today's video I will show you how to make a satisfying and cool warp background effect easy in After Effects, let's begin. First we will need to rotoscope the car in the foreground, so let's select the roto brush tool and double click on the clip. Make sure to rotoscope as smooth as possible. Once you are done, click on freeze button, and as the freezing is done, close rotoscoping window and then duplicate the clip. Now select bottom layer and delete roto brush effect from it. On a bottom layer, apply the turbulent displace effect, then take some time to play around with the values, my settings might not look good on your clip since the videos are different, so make sure to test and adjust the values to your liking. I will change amount to 600, size to 60. For the evolution, you can copy my value, but first hold alt on your keyboard and click on the evolution stopwatch icon. In the expression box that appears, type time asterisk 250. This will animate the whole turbulent displace effect. Looks good, but in my case I don't like the edge here, it's too sharp and harsh, but we can easily smooth it out. Select top layer with the roto brush effect. Now bump up feather to 15. Set reduce chatter to 100% and then I will decrease shift edge until the edge is all smooth. And that looks way better now. Now we can select the bottom clip again and continue with the warp effect. I will now create a warp animation, it will appear and then disappear again at the end. Let's scroll to the very middle of the clip and then click on amount and size stopwatch icons to add a keyframes with the values we have set. Then scroll to the beginning of the clip and change amount and size both to the minimum. Copy first keyframes and then paste them at the very end of the layer. Let's quickly check the effect. Looks fine, but to make things a lot smoother, I will apply a paid plugin called Glitchify, then I will smooth out the keyframes to get the smoothest animation. Let's drag Glitchify above the turbulent displace effect, otherwise it won't look so good. Expand image glitch and toggle it off, then expand color glitch and toggle it off as well. Now expand channel glitch, then channel split and channel scale. Under the channel scale, check vertical and set offset and speed multiplier to zero. Set the scale and horizontal amount to 100. Now expand advance down here, then channel scale and check fill gaps. Now by changing the glitchify amount here, you can control the whole effect. I will bump it up to 100 and then click on the stopwatch icon to add a keyframe. Just make sure you are in the middle of your layer right where the turbulent displace middle keyframes are. Let's hit you on a keyboard to reveal all created keyframes at once and then scroll to the beginning of the layer. Now change glitchify amount to zero. Then copy that first glitchify keyframe and paste at the very end of the layer. Now select all the keyframes and press F9 on a keyboard to easy ease them, then go to graph editor, right click here and select edit speed graph and then make a smooth curve. Let's check the final result. Hope this video was helpful, thanks for watching and like the video please.